Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. So, what is new on this Thursday? Well, we're going to talk about ARC first. Yeah? So, I've heard people say, we've had animals that don't belong in there. In the Fjordor map. In a Fjordor. Yep. Fjordor. Fjordor. So, yeah, I guess what happened, um, we put this Fjordor map on the same server that we had the Crystal Isles map on. And we did a lot of alterations to that Crystal Isles map, or Anthony did specifically, to uh, add more creatures. Uh-huh. So there's creatures on our Forge Your map now that aren't supposed to be there. Yeah. I think the for all we know, yeah. The what are the blood so- what, what are blood stalkers, <laughs> the stalkers, stalkers spiders? Or? That was one. And look, we do not want them there. No, nope. <laughs> no. Nope. I was kind of <laughs> happy when it was like, wait, that's a mistake. Yes, let's remove them immediately. They're still there. Look. This might come as a shock, but we're not good at operating servers either. <laughs> All so, right. which buttons do we click? How do we change it? Um, yeah. But when it was fixed, did it kill all of them on the map, or does it just not respawn them? Fixed. It doesn't respawn them, yeah. I remember that from uh, Crystal Isles. But yeah, it hadn't been fixed yet. No, all we right. can do a kill all command. Well, um, that'll, that'll kill everything, right? Except yeah, for tame dinos. You can kill yes. everything but tame dinos and start so over. So you would just have to wait for it. Things to spawn in, which or, doesn't take yeah. us long. Maybe if we could just it turn the blood long. stalkers off Taste. and uh, kill the ones that are there. Just kill them off in no, game. Just kill all. Nah, just get them. Get just rid of them all. Why wouldn't all. you want to just make I it like the way challenge. it is? You, no. do, do, do we you? Got, likes a challenge? Oh, do you yeah. like the challenge? Yeah. I thought you like yeah, complaining that sounds, about that it. That's no, tedious. Yeah. That's tedious. I'm telling you, no, no, that's tedious. That's tedious. Come on, just kill all. I'm with strikes again. Yeah, we do. We yeah, we just do a little server genocide. I'm the only challenge guy. So that's the problem with uh, Ark. <laughs> well, if you remember, Seemingly, that's what that's what we saw in the comments. If you remember in uh, Crystal Isles, we had like all those lava dragons. We don't know the names of anything, um, but remember, I they remember were everywhere a, shooting fireballs just everywhere. It was it was insane. <laughs> that was Anthony's doing. Wait, now don't don't <laughs> yeah. throw Anthony under the bus. But it's not bus. a bad thing. Yeah, it he, made a great episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We told him, hey, we want this going on, and. You know, through trial and error, we have to see what works, what doesn't, and he had to just bring it back a little bit. Are Griffins supposed to be on Fjordor? I don't even know. How'd, yeah, how would we know? But they're there. How would we know? We just loaded up the ser- uh, like the map onto our server, and we're like, it's good, probably. Well, well, <laughs> I'm going to yeah. search it. Yeah, we can We can actually search it. You know, it's a, it's a Viking-esque map, you know, so you would think that some sort of winged lion... Bird would yeah. be in there. What is the uh, origin of the, the griffin? What culture is that from? Yeah. Now we got two people looking for stuff. Yeah. Needs yeah. you want to look for anything? <laughs> this is Let how me, we learn stuff. The word for look up. griffin in Spanish. Uh, in Spanish. Yeah. There right. you go. Favorite decorative motif in the ancient Middle Eastern and Mediterranean lands. Ooh, oh. so that is not Nordic. No, that's new, not new, Nordic new, at yes. all. And Griffin location, yes, there are there are Griffin locations in Fjordur. Okay. And what about the uh, the owls? What are those called? And snow owls? Snow. We call yeah. them snow owls. Snow owls oh. around here. They're probably called something way more specific, but they're owls that only exist in the snow. So I call them but snow I, owls. I've seen them not in the snow. Damn it! <laughs> so I wonder if those are also not supposed, supposed to be or, there. Yeah. <laughs> Like, See, uh, well, I don't mind certain creatures being there, like snow owls, griffins. I don't care. Yeah, uh, blood sucking spiders hanging out on the coast. Man, no, you know, they, let's get rid of those. They will pull you off a bird from fifty yards no, away. No, yeah, it's ridiculous. And uh, jellyfish, just get rid of the jellyfish. Oh, yeah, jellyfish. <laughs> and the eels, the eels and are the bad. Eels. eels, jellyfish, and spiders. Uh, there's another video saying where you know spawn locations for snow owls. They call them snow owls. Okay. Oh, there we go. Good. Look at us. At you know what they call they... a beaver? Beavers. Like no. castroid or something. Yeah. And I'm sure there's science behind that, but I don't like it. Yeah, castroid. Yeah. yeah. Call it a beaver. You know how many things we say wrong that just either people just put up with or <laughs> hate us <Yeah>. for? <laughs> what do we call uh, tyrant? I can't know what we call them now. The birds. Oh, pteranodon. That's wrong, isn't it? Pterodon? Yeah, th- but they're spelled in the game. Do we say chitin right? We say that wrong too, don't we? Is, is it, I thought it was chitin. I don't know. Ch- Ch- Car- Ch- I have no idea. Ch- um, <laughs> so yeah, well, like, we if you're a subscriber to this channel, you have to learn a different language. Pretty yep. much, yeah. Like I, I just kind of go off the phonetics when I see the word. It's like I see the like chitin. I was like, okay, that looks like chitin. So I'm just gonna say chitin because I don't know the actual word. Because I, I think in the game they call pterodons pteranodons, but I could be wrong. That sounds more right. 
At least Absher doesn't say chassis anymore. No, no, I've learned my lesson. Chassis and or peninsula. peninsula. <laughs> yeah. I had some weird ones. Yeah. Vietnamese. Viet- yeah, I was about to say. Vietnamese. Yeah. I know, Neves, you've had a couple. Viet- I still have some. They're hidden. Yeah. I don't even know about them. <laughs> you know what I used to say a lot? And I still do. Drinking. Drinking? Yeah. What's wrong with that? Yeah, that's nothing wrong with drinking. Not drinking. Like as, a, drinking. Past, as a past tense. Right. Oh, I went out drinking? Um, I'm drinking. Nope. Nope, not like that. How do I use it now? Present yeah. tense, past tense, future tense. Or drunken. Is it drunken? I don't know. I don't even know brought now. brought this up. But when I say it, my wife points it out. And it's wrong. Because you say drank. Yeah, oh, I drank. Oh, I dr- did you say I drunk? Maybe. I drunk uh, seven wrong? Red Bulls? I don't know. I can't even or think I now. drank. I call her. I drunken seven Red Bulls. I just know I sound dumb sometimes, and I'm unaware of it. Yep. Speaking of you sounding dumb... Um, <laughs> when I was at MPC 2022 performing, people were asking, Hey, why isn't Neebs here? And I was like, he hates his voice. <laughs> <laughs> Look, here's what I don't want to do. I'm okay if someone plays one of my songs and they're able to stop it. But if I'm singing live and they have nowhere to go, I don't want to put anybody through that. You Curious are so. good though. You do have a good well, voice. I Neebs. love it. I I think our community, everybody I've talked to in the community Loves your voice. Well, that's after several takes and thick making it sound good. I do more vocal correction on Duralius than I do on you. Well, I don't know. You can hold a Duralis note pretty a better, steady. Okay, I can hold a note, but it but, still doesn't but you're, sound good. I think you're, um, the cadence, when I give you a cadence, like, got that JW, whatever it was, on Jeep stuff. That took forever. I had to get, like, every letter. Got that J-W-E-S-T. <laughs> J-W-E-S-T-U. Yeah. That was, you know, a new thing for you. But uh, but, but you got to practice it. this stuff, too. We don't huh? usually have a lot of time to practice the songs. No. I mean, you just listen to it in, in your vehicle. I guess we can get it on cassette for your truck. Yeah. That's what yours. Nice eight-track version. Yeah. <laughs> Neves has a phonograph in the passenger seat. <laughs> I've got the newest phone of anybody in the office. That's though. probably yeah. true. I wonder, mm-hmm. I wonder you know, uh, I guess music's done. I mean, there's there's obviously no more formats. It's like we went they went back to records for people that wanted records. Yeah, well, but will now, there be another form of music? Yeah, as, as far as formatting well, it's goes, all like digital. Yeah right, yeah, right now it's all digital. But yeah. like, where does it go from there? Does it go anywhere? Does it need to? We always do that, though, don't we? In technology, yeah. we go, that's it. That's probably it. Yeah. We've done it. We made the record. There's nothing else that well, can be like done. Well, it's like different USB drives. It's like, when are you going to just get to one that you're, fi- you're fine with? It's like, it was, there was USB 2.0, then USB No, that's going to keep evolving. That's yeah. speed. Yeah. yeah, I was about to say, that yeah. comes down to speed. The, yeah. the, but, the, but there won't be Even the drives. little connector. That's yeah. what I want connector like just go with the one connector yeah i'm with you neil i think eventually yeah there'll like, be no that's, ports. that's ideal oh no cords. Rid of drives. no cords no cords no ports, ports. yeah no yeah everything's in the cloud god and we're gonna be so screwed because when it gets lost where everyone's gonna be screaming up at the sky <laughs> <laughs> i want to see that <laughs> oh man like that one lady when trump won that's all in the memes just no <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna be that. I, I already am that guy, that old guy that's just like, ah, this is the way. I, I, why can't no, it be you the can't way be it was? Like that. You can't be like that, man. You got to embrace change. I mean, I embrace some change, and then there's other change where you just go, I don't know how to do this. I'm trying to. There was an example I can't even think of it today that I was just like, oh, this. They're changing this too. You got to have some fallback. You were really upset right? when you found out women could vote. Seriously, <laughs> when did that happen? Yeah. <laughs> but you got to have some safety fallback, right? Right. Like you should have your phone numbers written down somewhere, or just information you need, just some hard copy somewhere. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very true. I think the older you get, though, as far as phone numbers go, and you're like, shit, I don't have any of these written down. I now have to track down my five friends. Who I call, because <laughs> that's about it now. For like, <laughs> when I when I get older, as the older I get, the more phone numbers I don't call or give a shit about. Yeah, there's a lot of people I don't call. I'm having a situation now where, uh, so when I got my new phone, they transferred everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was some cutoff apparently in my phone where, like, okay, 
from this time to this time, those people count. But from here <laughs> on, don't count. Yeah. How old was your phone? Seven, uh, eight years? Seven, eight, yeah. Yeah. So, like, yeah. So, basically, the, the phone companies, after eight years, they look at your phone and go, no, we're, mm-hmm. we can't even work with this anymore. It's eight years old. Well, the, with, you know, like 3G and 5G yeah. and... That was, you were like right in the middle of that transition time of like you were on the last thing on, on 3G. Like 3G. Oh. Yeah. And it was like, ah, oh, why? Yeah. Why'd you do it? Now it's all 5G. What is a G? No one no knows. <laughs> Gigahertz, sir. I don't know. A, is that a. I'm so looking it up. In money, it's, it like be, a, it's like a thousand, isn't it? Wouldn't it be gigahertz? But people in money, people don't call it. A, do they call it G, a grand the G? Look, we don't know. Ca- I don't it's know. K. We can't say yeah, the that's dinosaur said, names, G. right? Huh? We're definitely not going to figure this out. Thank you to our sponsor, NordVPN. And if you don't already use them, you're missing out on the best VPN out there securing your personal data and your internet activity. It's simple to use. I connect every day with just one click, or you can enable auto connect for zero click protection. And NordVPN has over 5,400 servers in 60 countries. So you got options, baby. And kiss bandwidth throttling, bye-bye. Because NordVPN encrypts all your traffic so your internet provider cannot slow down your streaming speed. And NordVPN's new threat protection is a major upgrade. Threat protection blocks intrusive ads and web trackers. And when you download a file, threat protection inspects it for malware. It also automatically scans URLs and blocks malicious ones. Now NordVPN isn't just the best VPN out there. It's also your new badass cybersecurity tool. And threat protection not only protects your devices, but it protects you. With the ability to block trackers, it helps avoid online spies and stalkers. And you can access NordVPN from everywhere. Even when traveling abroad, stay at home virtually. It's just a click, open the map, click on a location, and you'll be connected in seconds. It's that easy. And as always, NordVPN has an awesome deal to share with our community. Go to nordvpn.com slash to get a two-year plan with a huge discount, plus four months for free. And it's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. So go to nordvpn.com slash Neebs to get a two-year plan with a huge discount. Thank you, NordVPN. Oh, it stands for generation. Oh, generation. Oh, yeah. no shit. Wow. <laughs> that's it. Oh, yeah, that's of course it. it does. Yeah. So wait, so that's all the marketing hype? They're like, oh, this is 3G. Oh. <gasps> 3G. Yeah, like There's, wow. Uh, their generation. Oh, well, that means it's answer. generation. Doesn't mean it's better. It's just like the newer fucking version. This is hey, Model Three. I get, I'll, I'll tell you this right now. I think they should do the same thing with boobs, because I remember the first time I touched fake boobs, and they felt like stale boobs. Like stale? they were like, so what's this? Yeah, this, this isn't. And and then newer boobs. So you you gotta yeah. you're gonna have to like categorize these like. Yeah. 1G boobs, 2G boobs, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. double G. Well, now here's the other thing. I think usually a generation's considered like 20 to 30 years. So even the terminology doesn't make any damn sense. It doesn't. Right. No, it doesn't. I hate this. I hate I know this now. How do we change this? This is why I never try to learn anything. Because <laughs> it just pisses me off. <laughs> Didn't you just this say is why I'm trying, to, I'm trying to stay dumb. <laughs> you just say. I know. <laughs> that's not change, though. That's just learning the fucking marketing terms that yeah, these that's fucking true. giant companies are using to try to trick you into thinking it's better. But hey, let me know if you guys ever touch 4G boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wow, fourth generational boobs. Mm. Holy moly. Are you going to get those fake muscles thick? Fake muscles? Yeah. Why? Is that like pl- the plastic surgery muscles? Not the old, not the 2G muscles. The like 2G? The, oh, God, I'm still on this. <laughs> oh, right. I, I don't can, think I need that. You can get a, a like, bigger chin. A bigger and, chin? Uh, yeah. yeah. Get like a no. Wicked Witch chin. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah, like a real long, yep. extruded chin at the bottom. Yeah. Big, Are you going to fix nice your face? Big jaws? No, I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> you just stuck with it. I'm going to keep point. it. Yeah, yeah. Man, it is so scary when you see plastic surgery done wrong. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's like one of those, like, you just want to sit these people down and go, hey, that doesn't look good. Well, that... You messed well, up. I think Carrot Top was a prime example of plastic surgery. Is that plastic on. surgery going on? Yeah, on his face? Yeah. Yeah. Is yeah. it? He was getting really big. Like that Jacked. was. That oh was yeah, all. no, he's Jack. He works out. Like, yeah. doesn't he steroids affect your face? It can affect affect your jawline. I don't know. You, your um, but everything else, like the the eyes yeah. and all that, the cheekbones. Oh. oh, he's got some like 
stretching oh, yeah, he looks like something. a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Which reminds me of the lady that, uh, or there's maybe it's not a lady, but there's a couple of people that have gone for the whole like I'm going to look like a cat. Like I'm going specifically oh, yeah. hard yeah. towards I'm a cat. Right. Yeah. I love this animal. I'm gonna be this animal. I'm gonna be this animal. Right. I think Priscilla They're chained- Presley looks like that now. She's got she's had a lot of work done. She's, she's got to try and get But she's not ac- actively out there going, I wanna look like a cat. She's just silently saying yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Simon's yeah. talking about yeah, this, yeah, this is a person that I'm going to have like ears installed on the top yeah. of my head that are big and fluffy. Yeah. It's, it's like really... that lizard guy. You ever seen him? Oh, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's like, you know, he had like tongue horns cut. installed. Yeah, too. No, yeah. It's like, it's crazy. It's like, I'm going to be a lizard. And again, like, I try not to be, even though I totally judge people all the time. <laughs> I think it's cool to judge again. Go for it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, I, I, I also think that it's totally possible. I don't know anything what's going on. Like, reincarnation is a real thing. And then I start to go, like, okay, well, if, you know, it sounds crazy, but if that was real, like, could you imagine being like, you know, um, man, I'm a fucking lizard. Like, being like <laughs> yeah. trapped in this lizard thing. And they're like, I don't know what the fuck to do except for just make myself look like a lizard. I Otherwise, think it sucks. I'm a lizard. Yeah. No, I can't imagine having that, uh, uh, that, that, that you're, mentality. You're, but your first generation incarnation is you and then your 2g right mate, mate. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. Be a lizard. no but, it's like hey i respect anybody's like i feel like i want to be this i'm going to try my best to be this i'm like hey go for it no yeah. judgment here but i'm going to go eh, it's, a, it's a little weird yeah, yeah. Uh, you're going to get judged yeah and that's okay as long as it's no like malice yeah exactly so, you, know, I, you know i think that's weird but I mean shit you do you well when somebody gives me shit for judging aren't they judging my judgment probably so it's like no nobody's perfect Right. Yeah. It's like, it's uh, just, that's, that's come on, window. man. No, I if mean, you're at the grocery store and there's a lizard man in front of you or behind exactly. the line, you can't not go, okay, that's, I don't see that a lot. Right. So, right. Unless I mean, everybody starts doing it's it. It's not a judging then, thing is like, I hate this person. It's like a, hmm, that's an interesting it's thing. Not, that's not, that's a, yeah, that's a I decision wouldn't do that, I damn. wouldn't have made. But right. Yeah. I, do make, I make assumptions. And they're, and and some of them are in judgment. Some of them are like, I'm going like, I oh, don't yeah. think this guy works at the bank. <laughs> right yeah. so i'm going okay maybe maybe he, he might even manage the bank not know you know he's very but that's capable probably of, a good assumption this but guy that's for, one good assumption this guy does or not like, have a job where he uh he probably has to stand in front of people a you lot. could right. probably assume a lot more than that i would bet <laughs> yes but that would be just one but of many wrong, assumptions you, you shouldn't do it but you could but you chances are good that <laughs> you're not going to have a lot in common no yeah yeah can you oh, imagine no, going to true. the bank and being like hey um, there's something wrong with my account, and I was speaking with the gentleman earlier. He looked like well, a lizard. Who was it? <laughs> well, do you remember his name? No, but he had a he had a black suit on with brown shoes, um, horns, a, sp- <laughs> a split tongue. Okay, horns. Thanks. I got it. That's, right. That's, uh, that's Todd. Uh, it's Todd. <laughs> <laughs> or would you it'd be even better if he was either he wasn't the only one in there <laughs> right so it, it could be todd or kevin <laughs> or you'd be like yeah, right you or you were like i got two, two managers did it look like a lizard or a cat which because <laughs> terry's the cat yeah was it the lizard or the cat that yeah. you spoke with so yeah. when you explain someone to someone else <laughs> is it okay to say the race? Because sometimes that is the dead giveaway, and it would make things so much quicker. No, that's fine. No, I, I think I it's think fine. fine. I, I think it is, too. I think that what I'm guilty of is the same thing that my mother's guilty of, is sometimes I will bring race into it when it makes no difference whatsoever. Yeah, no, that's when it's not. Yeah. I mean, I guess I need to work on it, but I'm like, it doesn't make you racist yeah, when yeah. you no, say... Yeah, no, I, I get what you're saying. You know, yeah. the, There's the, no malintent. Yeah, that, but some black guy helped me on the side of the road, and you'd be like, it could just be a guy. Could, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you did that wrong. <laughs> you did it wrong. You need to learn. Not, you but, know. Yeah. Now, what if it was a lizard guy? Yeah, is you know what? I would say relevant. Lizard. <laughs> you have to call him like <laughs> amphibian or lizard guy. Yeah, yeah, help me. Let's yeah. down. Yeah. Why does it matter if he's lizard? I would, if I just said white all the time too, then it wouldn't matter. I'm just being specific. So once I was broke down the side of the road mm-hmm. and a van pulls up, Mexican folks, is that relevant to that story? Yeah, it's for some reason maybe no, the racist well, inside I, me is like, yeah, I want to know I what it was. I feel like it paints a picture though, because I'm. They, it was a work van. Mm-hmm. I don't even think they spoke English, and my Spanish was worse now than it is then than it was now. Man, that's wrong. Is now. <laughs> <laughs> Can't talk. Okay. You're a big mess over there. We know there. what you mean. Know. You should hear me say drunk 
drink, <laughs> drunk, beat my knees. Right. Yeah. I think he speaks Spanish better than you speak English now. Well, That's probably it, confusing my brain. Anyway, so they they put a bucket in the back of the van, sitting on a bucket. So I feel like you kind of need to know. That was well, a different situation, actually, though. This was a, I was going to tell a, a story, story, on this story. Uh, about a situation that I saw in Charlotte, and it in, involved a black guy who worked valet. His name was Shaka. He looked like a small Von Miller. And Von Miller is a football player who plays for the um, the Rams, but he just looked like him. Anyways, this guy's staff quit on him. He had like two other guys with him, and it's it's like one of the busiest weekends in Charlotte. And and this is at one at the Hyatt. They don't actually work for the Hyatt, but they're subbed out by a company. This guy was just hustling. Like, that that kind of hustle without complaining or looking like, oh, my God, oh, my God, or, or being frantic. What he was doing to me, he was, like, problem-solving. Okay, all right, I got this, this, and this. I'm going to put you over here, and and he's he's running. Pop, 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 pop. And I'm with my daughter, my, my younger daughter, and she's lazy and dumb. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, I, and I told her, I said... You see him? If you work like that, you will go some somewhere. Absolutely. If you work that hard, and and I was thinking about it a little bit more because, you know, there there are some people out there who who have that hustle, have that drive, and they don't want the headache of owning the their own company. So they might see themselves as getting like, I want to be this high on the totem pole but not any higher because that could be a headache. But regardless, like... That's why we don't want our channel to be bigger. Yeah, it's no. Just too many headaches. Exactly. Oh. Right. You, too much scrutiny. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> too much scrutiny. Yeah, no, no yeah, we'd be in the news every other day yeah, like for yeah. some dumb shit That's Dick true, because we say some dumb we stuff. We say dumb things. Yeah, yeah we do. If we God. were bigger... Yeah, we would have been canceled years ago. What you said about the lizard man earlier? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that would have been canceled. Me. Yeah. But, but to everyone out there... You know, like, you have a job that you might not like, and obviously if you're in a situation that maybe there's no availability for the job that you want. But if you're hustling and you're just doing it with a smile and just getting through your day, finding something you like about your job, that's the kind of energy I want to see in anyone. I think well, that's, that's why Chick-fil-A is so damn successful. Mm-hmm. Like they, 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 they only hire people that smile 24-7. Makes you want to go back. Yeah. These people brainwashed no, by I'm this always, large uh, corporation to sell chicken. And I, I'll, t- I'll tell you this right now. You're either a shaka or you're not. <laughs> be a shaka. Be now, a shaka. Sh- that's why I told my kid. I was like, you be a shaka. You yeah, should, be out there. And other, kick- otherwise, you're going to you're gonna fail. And I'm going to watch I you mean, You still might fail. Flames. Let's be honest. You still might still fail. Still might fail. But, but you, you may as shaka. well fail trying. Yeah. It's okay and, I was fail. Trying to fa- yeah. and I was trying to figure out if he was like younger or... Or not because, and again, this is an assumption. Black, black folks have beautiful skin. They 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 have way better skin than us. I have three friends that are over fifty five that look twenty two. Black friends, <laughs> <laughs> and mm-hmm. they, they've got beautiful skin. So, uh, I'm just saying. But like, I, I couldn't figure out how how old he was. But inside, I was like, I wonder what he wants to do with his life because. He, he could probably do it. He might not have an idea yet. Or, See, does he want to be an editor? Man, we'll get Shaka on board right now. <laughs> Train Shaka you got to go out there, man. You have to go out there with the attitude if you're a younger person and try to be, if not the best, one of the best people out there working. And, and you're you, gonna, it, it's going to show more than ever because everybody out there right now is lazy as shit. There's a lot of lazy-ass mm, people out there. It's a lot of speculation. There. There's a lot no. of speculation, but there's always been a lot of lazy-ass yeah. people out there. That's true. And, okay, yeah. That's and true. and there continues to be. There Maybe there's more I now, think there's this more generation, entitlement. maybe not, but who knows? I think, I think it's a mix. You may have some entitlement, yeah. but you also have, uh, like everything's more consolidated now than it used to be. So when you are working, you're working for this just like faceless entity. It's not like back in the day. It was like, I'm going to go work for this mom and pop shop. And this mom and pop tra- shop's going to treat me well. It's like, no, you're working for this giant, massive corporation that doesn't give a fuck about you. It's hard to find the motivation, but you should still try. But think about the workforce right now. Like nobody wants to work. 
Well, not well, nobody. I think, no, yeah, well, uh, yeah. But I mean, there's, there's a lot of businesses yeah. out there that's I don't like, agree with hey, that. Hey, we don't. Yeah. No, we, not we nobody. We can't. We can't keep a staff in. But I wonder. There's just so much different work. Now. People can do Uber. They can do exactly. Grubhub. They can do all these things from home. Mm-hmm. And maybe they prefer to do that. No, you can than, work from home. You can work anywhere in the damn country if you find the right gig. Yeah, you can do Uber, DoorDash, make your own damn hours. It's like, oh. I need you to show up Burger King for eight hours every day. You're like, ah, oh, fuck that. I could just drive my car and deliver people food. Well, speaking of Burger King, Chipotle's turning into Burger King because they're going downhill. I don't know what's going on. They're n- they never have salad. Burrito Shack, man. Burrito Shack's so good. Oh, they're good. Hey, y'all don't know this because you don't come watch our streams, probably. Some of you do. Hmm. I'm looking at you, guy that didn't go to a stream. <laughs> hey, we stream every Thursday night. It's a it's a fun three hours. On Twitch. Twitch.tv. Needs game in. Anyway... So we rated. Did I talk about this in a podcast already? I don't we, think so. I don't think so. We no. wrote it. We rated uh, two weeks ago someone that lives here in our our very own town, and the reason I knew about this person was because he goes to Burrito Shack, and the guy that I go to Burrito Shack and talk to goes, "Hey, you're a YouTuber. I know a streamer. He comes in here, and his name is uh, Sketchy Sketchy Tug." And uh, so one night we finish our stream. It's time to raid, and he happened to be uh, uh, streaming. And I said, hey, everybody go tell them James from over at Burrito Shack and Neves Gaming <laughs> sent you. Guy has no idea who we are. We've never met, only heard about him. So he was like, just like, what is going on? Burrito Shack? That's where I eat. Yeah, he was like, Burrito uh, Shack? James? My Burrito Shack? <laughs> yeah. What's happening? <laughs> so, so it was great. So we ended up meeting up with him the, the next week. Anthony and I went and had a burrito with a uh, sketchy tug yeah. over at Burrito Shack. That's we got awesome. a picture. It was great. He's a great guy. Nice. Loves fishing. Just to, oh, and he's going to enter a mullet competition coming up at Captain Bill's coming up soon. I hope he wins. Mm, he I probably he will. Too. He's yeah, got mad mullet skills. <laughs> I didn't see his mullet. I saw his face, though. He had a nice smile. Yeah, he actually has all of his hair long at the moment, and he's going to shave it down to the mullet mm-hmm. before the competition. Oh, okay. That's the way to go. That's pro That's pro tip there. Yeah. I agree. Man, we need to get us a boat do some fishing competitions. Win millions of dollars. Yeah, go down to the big fish. rock down in Moorhead City. Win millions. Catching the big one. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we'll do. That's what Michael Jordan's doing nowadays. Yeah. Hey, he enters these big rock, like these oh, big yeah. fishing tournaments. Yeah, he's all into it. Oh, I hope he wins. He mm, needs yeah, some money. He needs a little extra yeah. cash. He's <laughs> such a gambling <laughs> addict, yeah. apparently. You know what's like, weird? Man, when you got that kind of money, come on. Michael Jordan's from here, too. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's from Wilmington. From right? Wilmington. Yeah. He, uh, yeah, there's a high school very close to uh, to, the, to the office. Yeah, right. That's like a quarter mile away. Yeah, that has his name on it because he donated the money for that gym. Yeah, I went there for three months, and they said, "Hey, uh, you need to either find a new school or we're gonna find one for you." Why is that? I had character issues. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. had. I, <laughs> I'm a saint. I I'm don't believe you. Goddamn saint. saint. Fuck a, you. Yeah. You're a loose cannon. <laughs> You're a loose cannon. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm talking about our last arc recording. <laughs> hey, no. Oh, what about... No, no, no. Yeah, spoilers. Spoilers. That episode's no, not out no, yet. No. All I said is he's a loose cannon. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 They knew cannon. he's a loose cannon. Okay, That's well, it. you're a bumbling idiot. And, yeah. <laughs> I'm less dangerous, you're, though. <laughs> yes, because he's constantly thinking of whether or not he's be berated, you know, right? That's probably one of the reasons why you don't do some of the things. You go, no, you can't, because then you'll get shit for it. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. It's fun, though. Been having a hard time getting into it, though, but it's been, as long as there's interaction, that's that's a lot more fun. Yeah. I would assume, like, if I was in your position, I was in the Alpha Tribe, and I couldn't find us, which we've had a lot of interaction lately. Mm-hmm. I'd be setting goals and building stuff, upgrading. Are you happy with what you got? Yeah, I really don't know what to do. Like, it's not like seven days. I don't know. Seven days is a lot. It, it's like, I guess it's a lot easier to get into having to survive. But when everything's been given to you, I don't really have much motivation at all. Right. And I think life is like that a little bit. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. You got to have goals and somewhere to start and somewhere to go to. Yeah. You're a rich kid in ARC. I am. Daddy had a yacht, and he just gave it to you. Right. And now I'm going to start doing blow again. May as well. What else <laughs> you got going on? Right. You could change yourself into a lizard man. I could. Mm-hmm. I could get tattoos on my face. Yeah. <laughs> that is, yeah. I feel I feel like the guy but hustling and busting his ass and can't get ahead. 
in that game right now. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like, no matter what I do. Uh, you like, can't catch no matter, a break. I can't catch a break. I feel like Gil from The Simpsons. Like, ah, gee, they got old Absro again. Uh, oh. <laughs> um, I think things are going to get easier for me because I was sent a mouse. Oh, uh, yeah. It's like a gamepad. Who sent you that? You remember the, the guy's name? Yeah. Yeah, shout him out, because good yeah, guy, this I thing's would. awesome. Yeah. And, and you got a picture of this thing for people watching on YouTube? Yeah. Yeah, Simon, put a picture up. So the guy's name is Brandon Cagle. And Brandon, um, I, I believe, had something happen to him where he needed a, you know, one-handed sort of mouse keyboard type thing. Mm -hmm. And so he built one. And I, as Techie had got in touch with us, and him, and he's like, "Yeah, I'll build you one." And if you're listening and you can't see this, it's a, uh, it's like half of the keyboard up up top where your fingers are, W A S D, and then the bottom part where your palm is is like a mouse. So you're kind of moving the whole thing with your left hand. And originally, it's not a mouse. So he's modified the Razor Tartarus. Gotcha. Okay. To Include to be a the mouse, mouse and a keyboard oh, at the awesome. same time. So are there two USBs at the end of that cable? Nope. One, just one. Just one, and it does the mouse and the keyboard yep. and everything. Okay. Wow. And then I yeah. can key bind nice. everything. That's great. And you just got it I today. just got it. Jumped into ARC, and I was like, okay, I can I can work with this. Much much more than what I have been doing. Yeah. Um, okay. That's so, great. Looking forward to it. Yeah, but I still want to work on the right hand and getting that back, and then hopefully... Mm -hmm. You know, I can go back to the way it was, but it's a great option. Thank you, Brandon. And um, yeah, give you give you a video, maybe maybe you know. We, give, what can I give you video? Yeah, if you want to, it might yeah, it might be good. Be to so they can see the movement. Give me video. Yeah, look at this video. My God! Oh wait, Thick didn't share it with me because he forgot. To. Oh, <laughs> if it's not there, yeah. but that's what happened. Well, I got Shaka. <laughs> Working for me now. Oh, so damn. It's already in your inbox. Oh, wow. Look and, at that. And he's cut three arcs. Yes, he has. <laughs> so sometimes I look back, because uh, I'll be playing at my station, I'll, and I'll, I hear Thicks going through through the weeds in, in some game, mm. and I look over, and he's uh, he's got the right hand on the mouse, and it's not doing its job, so I'll have to switch to the left hand real quick, mm -hmm. click on a few things, and then go back. And you're already being attacked by something. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's oh, already a yeah. stressful situation. Especially if it's something fast. Yeah. <laughs> like those spiders. Yeah. Simon keeps scaring me in seven days. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you got this new vape that hisses. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sounds just like a zombie. So I'm like walking around doing something. I'm working on the base and I hear, I'm like, Fuck, is that a snake? Is that a zombie? What is it? You'd be Simon a big hit there. in Minecraft, too, I think. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sorry. I think when we played, it happened like two or three times. I was like, is that a zombie? <laughs> I looked back and I thought, oh, damn it, Tim. Fuck. It's me. <laughs> I'm glad I couldn't scare you, though. That's fun. No, it's just With funny. a hint of cotton candy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? Mm. Cotton Fear candy smells snake. delicious. <laughs> That'd be a good horror movie. We're just cotton candy the, snake. The killer smells like candy or something yeah. well there was what killer clowns from outer space did they smell like candy well they what they would wrap you in cotton candy oh okay they would cocoon you in that mm. sounds like an american classic it, it uh honestly it should be it was wonderful we watched it at bad movie night but nope well not a bad movie i would watch that again i do want to see uh really yeah it was fun huh it's, it's not a horror movie but uh i think i want to see prey yeah yeah, yeah. prey sounds bad. fun yeah i did enjoy the original Predator. Well, the original it's it's not as good as the original, but it's still fun. Okay. It's uh, uh, a Comanche lady and her cute dog fighting Predator. Interesting. Yeah. Sounds oh, good. The dog gets it. No spoilers. Okay. No spoilers. You can look it up though it. on Does the Dog Die? <laughs> oh, <laughs> really? I love that's a thing. That's a fucking I'm amazing so website. Happy. I that's wish I could have searched that one if it does the dog die.com <laughs> and been like, I'm snatching that up. <laughs> yeah. No, that's so, oh yeah. wow! I love that concept for a website. <laughs> just because, like, I'm not watching this movie. This dog. You can does. change that. Does the mom die? Does the daughter die? Right. All the dot coms. Yeah. Yeah. Does the fish die? Dot com. Yeah, I'm gonna buy up some tonight. Well, speaking of, well, we said something was fun earlier. Uh, 
I've been playing Stray. Yeah? The cat I, game. The cat Meow. game. How you like it? You want to be a cat now. You're going to get plastic surgery <laughs> yeah. to make you a cat. I do. I tell you, for me to play a game for like nine hours in two days says a lot. Oh, wow. And it I'm does not. Say a lot. And I guess Anthony said he played this thing in eight hours. So here I was. I was like, I was he like. He finished it in eight hours. Yeah. <laughs> You're still in the menus. Man, I'm on like 12 <laughs> out of 26 things to do. I oh, guess that's... somewhere in the middle there, they're, they're, they go along pretty quickly. Yeah, you're about halfway there. Uh, but I'm like, mm-mm. I'm like, we were, I wanted to talk to you about it today, but we'll talk about it now. I don't know, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we're going to do it. We did talk about it. We're going to do maybe like a check out. I'm going to watch Neebs play, and he doesn't know how to do the puzzle. The puzzle He's but never you do. played it, but yeah. I've gone through it. So at, originally, we were thinking, let's play through the whole damn thing. It'd end up being a 10 hour video. You'd want to show most of it. It'd be crazy. So we're going to, we're going to plan on doing it for like an, maybe an hour and a half. So it'll be interesting to see if 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 I'm an idiot, right? And if if I did it, <laughs> well, it was a fun dynamic because uh, this happened last week on the stream, um, where Neeb started playing the uh, Poppy Playtime, uh -huh. and Simon was coaching him, and it was yeah, it was funny because Simon usually isn't the coach in any game, and uh, so he said, "Oh, that might be a fun idea for a series." Uh, Simon says kind of thing. It's like a what if episode. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, what if Simon knew Simon's what he was doing? Simon's played through this already, and now Neeb's is going to play and. Simon's the master gamer. Now, about the game itself, this will tell you a lot. I will, now that we've confirmed today that we're not going to go through the whole thing, I want to say I think I'll play it. I'll continue to play it. But I don't For know. For fun? Yeah. Okay. But I don't know. You know, it's one of those things where I, I would hope I'd want to. Weird concept for Simon. It is. Yeah, it's you like, know, do no, I want to play a game for doing fun? Doing this, play yeah. this game for in entertainment and <laughs> like, joy. They make me do this at work. <laughs> well, <laughs> but uh, it's, <laughs> it's the kind of thing that when you got to do the same shit over and over and over again, I don't know. After about four or five hours, that might be my peak. The puzzles are yeah, the same, the same go, solution oh, yeah, for every like puzzle? When you lose and you got to go, oh, I got to go do this over and over and oh, over and over. Oh, because you failed. Gotcha. Yeah, it's not like you're playing a game and you go, okay, like even a first-person shooter, that's different. Every match is different. Mm -hmm. But with this, okay. it's that different kind of a, oh, do I really? And I'm like, this is going to get harder. I'm struggling through this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting okay. through it, but I'm struggling through it. And so much of it's memory. But I'm going, well, maybe I should do it for my old brain because it needs it. You know, so I, this is probably the only thing saving my life right now is having to play any games. Otherwise, <laughs> I would be like, I don't know. Pooping your pants. Maybe. Yeah. So then you probably should, yeah. Yeah, probably Good should. brain exercise. It is a lot of fun, though. Like, it is, I don't know, it feels great to walk around as a cat. It's done, it's done really well, and it's interesting, and I still give a shit about the story after doing it. You know, I'm like, oh, okay, what's going on with Clementine? See, that would, yeah, that would you keep know, me like, pushing if the, if the narrative... Is intriguing. Yeah, and it is. Like, okay, it's intriguing like these, enough. Yeah, like okay, these puzzles are pissing me off, but I'm into this narrative. I got to see it. I got to see it through. Yeah. Or you just go watch it on YouTube. I don't know how hard the game is, but I could see it. You sometimes you play that game that's really stumps you, mm -hmm. where you gotta like save it, sleep on it, go to work the next day. Yeah. Oh yeah. And your brain's oh, yeah. like, oh wait, what if I did this? And you call out of work and then go home. And <laughs> yep. <laughs> you just I gotta right go. There. Have yeah. Shaka cover me for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got this puzzle I have to solve. I know what I got to do now. Uh, I used to, I feel like I did that a lot when I was a kid playing, you know, those old fucking point and click adventures. You just get stuck. I don't know where to go next. Fuck this. Mm -hmm. And, then and that's a fun experience. And you're that... sleeping like, oh, wait, I got it. I got it. You become a problem solver mm -hmm. while you sleep. Yeah. But what were you saying? Uh, I could see that being more fun than just going, I just played this for a few hours. I just watched this thing for a few hours. You, you got something that's uh, entertaining you for, say, weeks or months. This journey of going through a story and solving yeah. problems. Mm -hmm. As long as the story's good. That's what made Portal so great. Portal had good puzzles and good story. That was a fun game. Mm -hmm. Remember Man. that, Simon? Yeah, I do. I was thinking of Portal last week. I was thinking like, wow, I'd probably, I'd probably be, you know... Better. Uh, yeah, well, a little bit better. but uh, I was, You would know how to navigate the 3D space better than you used to, for sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, because that was we we played that. You guys played what co op in Portal Two early on, and that was like really when you were like even in Minecraft. Like I don't know even you how were to still navigate using in these worlds. Your index finger for W A S N D. <laughs> Probably the game that did that for me. Um, I would say within the last two years is Hitman. You know, just trying to figure out different ways mm, to kill yeah. people. Did you play through that? I didn't play through the whole thing. I got through most of it. And, yeah, I, I kind of wanted to do a series with it, but, you know, those missions are so long. I mean, there's speedrunners out there yeah, that just yeah. do it. But I, I'd want to have, like, like if if I played through all these missions, and it's like, okay, Neebs is going to be me, Agent 44, and I'm going to tell you what, you, what to do. Mm-hmm. And you're going to kill this gentleman over here, but you have to kill him with a fish. Mm-hmm. You've got to find the That's fish. That's my specialty. The, yeah. <laughs> that sounds like it would have been fun to watch. Yeah, but I I would really ha- I'd have to play through each mission like several times because the missions are so long, mm. and I'd want the most entertaining yeah thing. Well, that's why like some of those uh, you know some of these YouTubers do. Uh, that, that's amazing. They do you know, they do speed runs of levels. Yeah, like I remember seeing like the guys doing the Far Cry thing. We're like, okay, here's an outpost in Far Cry. You know, there's like 20 people in there, and he goes in and wipes out everybody within a span of like 30 seconds. It's like, and because he went in there and played it over and over and over and over and over again and got so fucking good, you could just kill it. That, yeah. I mean, that's amazing to watch. Takes a lot of time, though. That doesn't yeah. sound like like what me and Dralis did at all. <laughs> no. No, oh. it doesn't. <laughs> no. Watch, hey, watch our Supercut, Far Cry 5. It's brilliant. It's wonderful. If you look on there, all the comments are like, I can't believe I doubted this show. You guys are amazing. <laughs> Neebs, I love you. <laughs> Any other games you've been playing that are kind of different and fun? Uh, and I oh, fired up. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, I played a new game. Um, I think the demo is out on Steam right now, but it's called Spider Heck, and it's by Tiny Build. Yeah, you I showed out, us that. Yeah, oh, I good. was out in Chicago um, for MPC 2020 performing, and Tiny Build was one of the sponsors, and the one guy was like, um, you know, he's talking to me, and, okay, so what's your channel? Neves Gaming, oh my god, we I watched your human fall flat, and blah blah. I was like, okay, cool, I appreciate it. And uh, super cool guy, but he's like, you need to check this game out, and it's like a cross between, um, like, uh, stick, stick fight, fight and uh, speed speedrunners. Runners. Okay, and I sent them uh, the animated spe- uh, speedrunners video that we did. Oh yeah. Yeah, and made by the same people that made Stick Fight, so it's not like they took those games, right? It's like the same mechanics. I I, I oh, believe. Not, yeah, I think it's published by the same guy, right? Published. Or, yes. I'm sorry, published, published by the same team, but I don't think it's the same developers. Right. Okay. Right. Gotcha. But yeah, it's great. You can be a spider with weapons and web slaying. Yeah, it looks fun. And oh, I'll never do it. I'll never web sling. Oh, you're gonna <laughs> love it. Okay. I I don't like Stick Fight. Like I I actually really like Stick Fight. I'm horrible at it. I can never shoot where I want to, and I'm just t- totally mediocre at getting around. I usually just spend my time hiding. But you're good at speedrunners. Well, speed here's runners, the other thing. In speedrunner, you do pretty good. Yeah, I'm on pretty yeah. good. A very important tool in that is the grapple, so you can yeah. swing over things and mm-hmm. swing around mm-hmm. things. You refused it. I don't you use, won't it. use it. Yeah, and, he, and he still does okay. Yeah. Yeah. I. I yeah. That might just be a testament. Like, I mean, if you're up a, up against a really good player that knew how to use that grapple, yeah. but yeah. Up, you're up against us, which exactly. Yeah. So I'm um, I'm I'm in the same league as you guys exactly without even using one of the major tools. So I'll take it. <laughs> I finally got a uh, got my a PS5 hooked up in my house. Ooh, got a new yeah. TV. Oh. So I played. Um, I checked out um, the Ghost of Tsushima expansion pack. Yeah, and that game. God, it looks so looks fucking gorgeous. I love it. Mm. Samurai game. Super mm. pretty on a nice big 4K TV. Oh yeah, baby. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, baby. We have uh, Japanese T-shirts now. We do. We do. Did you see the Japanese yeah, Neves yeah. Gaming heads? The one's designed by uh, Tiny T, right? Tiny T. Yeah. 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 No, they look great. Yeah, she's a great artist. Oh, she's a wonderful artist. Yeah, we she's have, We great. have a lot of wonderful artists in our community. Uh-huh. We do. But yeah, it's one of those things. If we see a good design, we're like, that's great. We should put that on a shirt. Well, yeah. I think we say that sometimes, and it's like, in this case, it was a great design, and we needed to put that on a shirt. Sometimes when we see a great design, it's like, this is a great design. We should put it on a shirt. Yeah, sometimes like, it doesn't work no, on a shirt. No, that's not yeah. going to work. Yeah, it wouldn't um, work on a shirt. But. And, and um, actually, I have a photograph from uh, one second. It's a, a girl who 
had our had us tattooed on her, her arm, but yeah. our Wait, heads I, with on like a raptor and a wyvern and oh, you pulling up the picture? What? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, hold on tight. Be funny if it was just us, like at a grocery store, <laughs> but actually the store you go to. Right. Yeah. Was yeah. Like a surveillance photo. I would like a picture of me wheeling out the recyclables on somebody's back. Yeah. Here you can, you can start. <laughs> There's you can it's scroll, trash day. Scroll through a couple of these. And what? We can explain what you're seeing, Simon, for those that can't can't watch right now. <laughs> This is this is forgot to be funny. Yours is hilarious. Yours this is, is bad. All right, this is this looks like a pterodon's body with thick head. That's a wyvern because <laughs> wyvern it's a wyvern. Be. Gotcha, but <laughs> it looks like it could be a pterodon. Could be that too. What? I'm still flying, and you're not. This is uh, <laughs> wow. Apsro is uh, a unicorn. So his unicorn head with with the horn coming out of his human forehead, but on the body of a wait. So this is a real faces. No, no, uh, no. Or just our art faces. Yeah. Okay. The drawings of of the faces. All right. And, all right. That's where I was getting. Like, what? Sorry. Then my character's on a on looks to be a, maybe a rooster. Okay. <laughs> rooster. Wow. Yeah. We're pa are... we're passing around Thick's phone. We're all taking a gander at this. Yeah. So right. you said they were arc dinosaurs. So that was a uh, yeah. Some maybe a an Argentavis. Yeah. Thick, can you send the, the send these? Oh to yeah. Simon? Oh yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll put these up. Of course. So, uh, I will. People I'll watching can up. check it out. They will see it. That's why you need to check out the video too, so you can see these uh -huh. pictures. Oh, and I'll I'll give you the name of the person who who got tatted. Good. As and, I met mm -hmm. her, and she was wonderful and so sweet. So my character, I, I think it's a raptor. Uh, yeah, I think it's a raptor. Is. And then Duralius has tusk. Oh so, yeah, he's like I uh, didn't see uh, <laughs> saber tooth. So he's a uh, like yeah, saber tooth. Because like, he used to have a cat called Ella, didn't he? Oh, yeah, yeah, he did. Yes, he did. <laughs> Tattoos. Is Simon an otter? I don't know. I thought I was. I thought I was a bird. I don't know why. It look like a fucking bird. It looks like an otter to me. There's two are there two feet that look like bird feet? Yeah, but there's like obviously feet in the back and a tail. A oh, tail? I wonder if it's a. It's an otter. It looks like an otter. It's gotta it, be. It's an otter. It's not one of those platypus Boy. things, is it? Mm, I don't know. I'd say otter. If I were right. a betting man, which I'm not, could be a castroid. Yeah. So would you meet her? That's cool. I did. Nina. And she actually uh, has a little, like, uh, nail company. Like, she does nail polishes. Oh, nice. All right. And so, uh, a professional. Yeah. A pro. And she was sweet as could be. Everybody's really nice. I didn't encounter one angry Neves Gaming fan. We normally don't. Have don't you, you, have you ever? Come? I ha yeah. Have you ever encountered an angry Neves Gaming fan? No. I haven't. We've encountered drunk ones. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. You could walk the line of angry and happy. Right, yeah. Yeah. A couple of them that yeah, yeah. got a little out of hand. Yep. Lose but, their cars. But anger? No. End up in Myrtle Beach jail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Had some wild cards out there. But uh yeah. Our that community's was fun, pretty though. fucking awesome. So you had a good time in Chicago? Oh yeah. I went to the Museum of Ice Cream. Really? Ooh, tell us, please. <laughs> what? I want, to, I want to know about the Museum of Ice Cream. <laughs> we could have gone to any museum. And we're like, fuck yeah, Museum of Ice Cream. <laughs> it's clearly for kids. Uh, <laughs> kind of. Um, but they did have something very interesting. In that. They had like all these facts. And they had this one stand that had what looked like hot dogs. Like... So the bun was like some sort of strawberry, like pound cake, like mm. strawberry flavor. Yeah. But then they had legit hot dog flavored ice cream Blech. with Shaped. mustard and a pickle on top. Oh, no. no. Mm -mm. That, I I did not go, I would have thrown up. It sounds forever. awful. Hot dog really? flavor. My girlfriend tried it. And? I've got that video. And uh, and she's like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> straight out <laughs> of the trash can. Yeah, well, I'm glad that she, terrible. she tried it because that's what you should try for something like that. You should have had a bite. <laughs> should have tasted it. I, I'd I'd still have it like like the taste in my memory. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That and that I, never I, goes away. Yeah. Yeah. That so is away. that a sandwich? Uh, Hot dog yeah, ice cream sandwich. Sure. All right. Sure. Yeah. Anything goes. <laughs> Anything goes. <laughs> so there's a store downtown that sells candy. Um, they have a pickled flavor cotton candy. I didn't Ugh. try it, but I heard about it. Yeah. 
a solid I don't want package. That. I like pickles though. Yeah, but not in cotton candy. I don't know. I mean, uh, do you we'll even see. like? You don't even. You don't like cotton candy at all. Not well, even I just like that's candy. not food. I don't. Yeah. Eat, I don't eat sugar for no reason. Exactly. No, I can't you know? even see you entertaining the thought of putting you, cotton candy. I used in your to mouth. like cotton candy. Yeah. Even as a kid, I was like, meh, whatever. Yeah. 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 I always wanted just to just see it get wet. Just watch it dissolve. Yeah, watch it dissolve. Uh, like that was yeah. more fun to me than actually eating okay. it. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, I would lick it and just like, mm, that's interesting. Look at it turn back to liquid and kind of dissolve. That's mm. neat. I remember wanting a candy apple so bad for like what seemed like my entire life. Because um, I had my teeth knocked out. Like, first of all, my teeth didn't come in for a long time. My mom took me to the doctor. She's like, this kid don't have teeth. <laughs> like all the other kids have teeth and he's 10 and I don't have teeth <laughs> how old were you because I didn't realize like that kid in Stranger Things like I guess he had a you know that's a legit thing where his teeth didn't come in right uh, I, I guess and he, he yeah, talked about it in the show and you watched the whole series so like they did talk about it several times like his teeth so how old were you when your teeth I don't came remember in? but I was like six months to a year like past when teeth should be there okay and they came in I was just growing slow I guess Anyway, get them in at the park. I'm on like a, imagine a seesaw that's bouncy. It's got spring in the middle, yeah, yeah. just bounces. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I'm on one side. I'm super tiny. I was always a tiny kid. And a, a large kid jumps on the other one at a metal bar that you hang on to while you're in there. And my face goes right into that bar. Front teeth smashed in, abscessed. They had to yank them out. It was oh, horrible. No. Oh, God. And uh, yeah, that was an experience. I remember I was really small. Mom had to lay on the chair and hold me. So they could pull them out. Oh. And I guess I was conscious because I was peeing everywhere. It's well, funny because everybody. I just peed a little bit right now <laughs> thinking about it. You can't tell us, though. Did you say the age around like <sighs> six, seven, eight? God, you got to give me a give me like no. a five. Year no, span. because most of my life I had no front teeth. So as soon as these baby front teeth came in, boom, gone. Yeah, you were real young. Contact real mom. young. Yeah. So had no front teeth forever. And you need front teeth, really, to eat a candy app like a. Those oh, red candy that's right. apples. Oh, and mm-hmm. yeah, the candy yeah. apple. Yeah. So it just didn't happen. That so might be why I like caramel apples so much. The teeth. To eat Had the one. I'm like, yeah, caramel's the way to go. Yeah. This nasty, hard, glazed. <laughs> yeah. <candy apple>. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't missing anything. Yeah, no, you weren't. Yeah, I, I tried. Yeah, I remember trying a candy apple once. Yeah, I didn't, didn't like it. It seems like something that, c- that should work, but I don't know why. It's caramel, just, though. Caramel, yeah. Man. Caramel, caramel, whatever you want to say. Whatever. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Tear it on. While I was in Chicago, my girlfriend and I were eating at a nice restaurant outside. And who do we see walk by? Oh, Madonna. Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman. Maybe is what we thought because (laughs) the guy walks by. I mean, looks just like him. And the guy next to me who's sitting at the table still, because he he got up and left with his friends. Uh, But the guy sitting... Next to me at the table, he was there with his family. It was his birthday, and he was like, you see that? That's him. That's him. And I'm like, yeah, it looks like him. You know, that's... Like I Dead mean, Ringer? Because honestly... Dead Ringer, but, not, but I'm like, ah. But why yelled, is he hey, Morgan. here? And I started thinking about it. I was like, <laughs> all right, well, I'm like Googling stuff. My girlfriend's like, just put your phone down. I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> I wonder, wonder <laughs> what he's you working went to stalker on. mode. But then... I was like, you know what? Let me check his height. And I was like, that's not Morgan Freeman. Because Morgan Freeman on his IMDb, IMDb says he's 6'2". Six two. Six two. We know how wrong IMDb is, though. I know. Because you know what? Honestly, to what I was thinking, I'm like, it, that's a perfect way for me to tell somebody, nope, I'm not Morgan Freeman. I'm shorter, see? Well, uh, well he was shorter. He was I, like, sh- like shorter than me. It seemed like, well, maybe the same. Man, you guys are conspiracy theorists. It might have been him. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I look at IMDb almost like Social Blade. Where are you going, Social Blade? Don't you think Morgan's see probably six two? We we're, we're fucking yeah. billionaires, according to it's Social Blade. It's pretty accurate. It's not hard to figure IMDb. out. Social Blade. Yeah. No, no. You know what? IMDb. Okay. As, as far as the height, I believe he's tall because he comes across as looking tall. I've never seen him look short next to other people. Right. So it and does Tim make Robbins, sense. But you know, is tall, and they they did uh, Shawshank uh, together, but. I didn't have the heart to tell the guy whose birthday it was that because he's like, yeah, I can't believe we saw it. And, yeah. and even his kids were like, <laughs> well, that's good, I, I don't yeah. know that it was him, dad. And he's like, yeah, it was my birthday. 
<laughs> I like his attitude. I saw Morgan and, Freeman and on I my birthday, I, and I you just can't convince me otherwise. That's right. <laughs> Google, as soon as I start typing, it just pops up halfway through the, the question. 6-2. Yeah. 6-2. I'm a tall motherfucker. Now, I, I sure I am. I encounter a situation where um, IMDB was wrong about someone's height, and it was, uh, fuck, Harry Met Sally, who directed that? Jerry. Rob Reiner. Jerry yeah. Steve. So Rob Reiner used to work in an office across from me, and I would see him all the time. And it said that Rob Reiner was 5'10. Rob Reiner's like 6'2, 6'3. So we Is have he a data an point. actor, too? Huh? He was. Rob Reiner? Yeah, he was. He was uh, all in the family. Yeah. Son of a famous actor comedian as well, Carl Reiner. Yeah, Carl Reiner. Does he play uh, Zoe Deschanel's dad in uh, yes. New Girl? Yeah. Yes, he does. That's yeah. the guy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But we were in the elevator together, and I'm like, hey, IMDb says you're five ten. You're clearly not. And he's like, yeah, I'm like six three, and he's yelling about it. I'm like, I, I didn't, I didn't write it. I didn't. And then the next day, so. it got changed. Oh man, Ugh. that was you. You did that. No, he pulled the yeah, strings. Yeah, you I, were the catalyst. I was, yeah. So he, does he, does he, Mr. Freeman know he's being mis- misrepresented on IMDb? I don't know. Because clearly he's shorter. Yeah, he's clearly <laughs> yeah. five two. Because thick's like I'm six two, and this no. guy is way shorter <laughs> than I am. Oh, I will tell you this. Yeah. I, I, the Circle K down the street. I love going in there because they fucked up on the height thing. On the criminal we, height on the yeah. way out. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna, they're gonna be like, yeah, the guy who was wearing a you know a meta shirt and yeah. you know had to be six six one. <laughs> I love walking through that. There was there was even one place that was worse. I was like, I am I am six two today. Man, they're never gonna catch their no no people. no. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. You know the God. guy you know the guy who uh, was in charge of putting that strip on there. He ex con. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's like, I'm gonna he's fuck like, him up. Fuck these fucking people. No. Yeah, that's pro- what got me. It's probably what nailed him. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and he's like, all right, I'm gonna fuck this. Either that. in the lineup, motherfucker. Yeah, I ain't a snitch. <laughs> right. Either that. Or he wasn't tall enough to Couldn't put reach the it. whole thing up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's like, I'm about this high and uh, yeah. Or this is some really elaborate plan. You know how some of those they make movies about the, the great art heist which has been planned for like five years, you know, and they've yeah. built places inside the walls mm-hmm. and they got they've inside in, they've people. They've infiltrated the company yep. that yeah has to hang these things. So yeah. this Circle K, it's one day, they're going to get... <laughs> Nobody will ever check the actual yeah. height. The great, They'll just assume it was correct. The great Circle K heist. They got away with $600. <laughs> and they I never found them. which comedian said that, but yeah, that was always a line stuck in my head. He's like, um... I'm 5'3 or 5'6, depending on what gas station I'm leaving. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, that's a good line. I'll tell you what, if they, if they, uh, if they change it and correct it, I, I'm, I have some words with their manager. <laughs> like, hey, <laughs> I like this height over here. Please. You could probably buy those online if you want to just put <laughs> one at your home. house. Oh, just that'd be put nice. Put as low as you want it. Walk yeah. through every doorway. Yeah. It's got oh, that mark like on it. Like a bowl. <laughs> I'm 8'9 <eight>, today. <laughs> that, that would Look be. at this. Oh, God. Talk about a Napoleon complex when it would come to something like that. That would be funny as hell. (laughs) To put like a strip of that on every room in your house. (laughs) That's a fun character. I was about to say, we need to write that into a character. Exactly. That's funny. That's funny. I never wanted to be tall. I still see so many advantages of being short. Just, I mean, airplanes for one. Just being on an airplane. Yeah. Short, that's the way to go. Yeah. Well, your legs and arms are the same length. Yeah. So you're like a spider. Yeah. My wrist and ankles touch when I walk. <laughs> yep. So you were always short. You said you were you were short up until like what your junior year? Uh, junior senior, yeah. yeah, yeah. Me and a buddy, my buddy Terrence, we were both like five two, five three, going into high school. Yeah. And then, boom, just shot up at the end of high school. You and your buddy at the same nope, time? just me. Oh. Just you. Terrence still short. <laughs> Fuck Terrence, oh, man. man. But you should see him on a plane. He's comfortable as hell. He can oh, yeah. lay down. He's laughing yeah. now. On one seat. Yeah. Our buddy Daniel from How It Should Have Ended just text me. What'd he say? He says there's a boba tea place close to his new house waiting for me. He knows I hate oh, boba no. tea. <laughs> Son Is of he a, a boba tea guy? Huh? Is he a boba I tea guy? I don't know. Probably not. Just wants to mess with you. He's just reaching out. He just wants wants your friendly touch. Yeah, Yeah. the kids love it. I can't stand the stuff. So you've had one? I had one 
a long time ago in LA. Now this is like tea, but with like uh, blue cheese in it or something. Um, yeah, <laughs> no, no, it's tea with these cheese. little soft like, nuggets of uh, or little little balls of liquid in there, and they give you a gigantic straw to suck the balls up through. Balls so, of liquid. Yeah, the, the first boba that I had had these like gelatinous like rice balls. Okay. So this was like the original boba. So that's it when I first like a, knew to never eat it again. It's a so. choking hazard, right? Yeah. Oh, this. oh no, they, uh, these things, the, they're flimsy. Like, they would pop. If okay. you got one caught in your throat, it would just dissolve so, immediately. Yeah, so the ones that you're talking about are, they're filled with, li- like, juice yeah. in it. So the ones that I'm talking about are solid. I think I had you, you, years they, ago, they, maybe sort one of those. Kind of de- and, or they're filled with tapioca, hmm. which I just associate with old people food. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I, mean, I, love love yeah. I love that shit. I love it. I love it. It's really good. Anything that's soft, because my teeth are really soft. Mm-hmm. Pudding. You've got yeah. little, like, kitten teeth. I love them. I mm. do. They're nice. Yeah. They're wooden. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to respond to Daniel and say, fuck you. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Does that come up? Because now that I have a new phone, I see there's quick responses up top. Just some pre-selected options. Like, it, it should okay. be on my phone. It's my response so, yeah. to a lot of people. Yeah. Can you, maybe you can adjust <laughs> oh, that yeah, in you settings. Can, you, can, you can make that. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, customize, customize it. Yeah, yeah, I need to do that. I need to do that. Cool beans or like, fuck you. Mm-hmm. you know? It's like four fuck yous and then yes. With my, with my new phone, because sometimes there'll be like a, like a emoji will be an option for a quick response. And I think that I am going to get more options of faces when I click that. But nope, it just puts that face and sends it and it's done. <laughs> so a few weeks ago, my dad texts me. He's like, hey your uh, sister and her husband have COVID. And I thought, oh, I'll pick a face like, oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I sent like a laughing face. Right. <laughs> <laughs> With the was, tears coming great. out. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, oops, new phone. Hold up. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and then oh, you God. can send another like laughing face at laughing at the fact that you made a mistake and then you can hit the Mm-mm. mistake. I mean, no, emoji, I won't go that far. Made a mistake. I'm a three text guy and that's you're pushing it at three texts. I'm with you. I've I've, I've been that mm-hmm. way for a while. Yeah. God, I hate long drawn out texts. If it's more than two texts, I'm going to send a call. book sometimes. You will. Yeah. I don't we'll get I don't, a, we'll get a, the same way. We'll get a text. It'll Man. be like the next great American novel. You should I, never have been, to scroll it's been in a text. Years. It's been years since okay. I've sent a long text. I know what? better. It's been this year. Years. Yeah. <laughs> it's long, been this year. It's, it's been it's been maybe months. Wait, are you talking about like a short paragraph? Sometimes you need to have five there's, or six sentences. There's our problem. We don't know what a short paragraph is. Yeah. A paragraph shouldn't be in a text. Any kind of paragraph. Well, sometimes you need four or five sentences. That's a phone call. So <sighs> yeah, four or five sentences is a phone call. No, not two if you're sentences is a phone things. call. Yeah, one I, sentence well, should be allowed. I'm not going to communicate with you guys anymore. Okay, <laughs> so that could work out for me. <laughs> could work out for all of us. Okay, <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> All right, well then, let's end it. Let's end communication. <laughs> We're done. Right We're, done. We're done. I'm walking done. away. We'll Take see you next time if there on. is one. Yeah, right. maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> Go out there and be a shaka. Bye, folks. See ya.